Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Edgehill University, I declare this, the 15th and final ceremony of the week, open. Chancellor, on behalf of Academic Board, I present students from the Faculty of Education who are candidates for awards today. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Information and Communications Technology, Secondary Education with Qualified Teacher Status, Mohammed Farouk Ali. Jennifer Elizabeth Calderbank. <laughs> Margaret Plant. <laughs> Fatima Suleiman Ismail. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Information and Communications Technology, Secondary Education with Qualified Teacher Status, David Ruben Abenstern. <laughs> Nicola Louise Ashmore. Megan Cooper. <laughs> Melissa Zena Gould. <laughs> Andy Paul Higginbotham. <laughs> Rebecca Una Leach. Christopher Loughran. Danielle Morgan. Jamie O'Keefe. James Payett. Kerry Powell. <laughs> Daniel Rigby. <laughs> Amy Louise Scott. <laughs> Sam Smith. Daniel Thompson. <laughs> Chancellor, the following candidate has also been awarded the Anne Proctor Prize for achieving the highest overall average percentage mark of those finalists in the Faculty of Education. Gary Warner. <laughs> Christian David Wilson. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Information and Communications Technology with Secondary Education Daniel Charles Banks. So by the authority vested in me as Chancellor of Edgehill University, I hereby confer the Edgehill University Awards for which you have been presented, and I heartily and proudly congratulate you all. Hats off and wave them in the air. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, you've done it. Can you believe it? Hardly. Hardly. Education never stops. Thank you for saying that. Beautifully said. That's right. Education never stops. And this is the beginning of the rest of the education pathways that you're going to take in your life. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Professor Tanya Byron. As my pro-chancellor said, I am the chancellor slash the queen of Edge Hill University. So just so that you know, I am the most important person in this room. It's, thank you. Thank you. And it gives me great pleasure to be here today um, having a moment with each one of the graduates of your loved ones who have come towards me, some of them with tears in their eyes, all of them with sweaty, sweaty palms, um, and some of them green, saying to me, Chancellor, I think I'm going to be sick. Um, it's always a pleasure. But actually, it really is a pleasure because education is about empowerment. And today is a moment for all of you that I want you to remember because this is the moment now. You are now at the edge of the platform and you can jump and you can fly. You've come to Edge Hill because you know we deliver the best in what it was that you wanted to study. We have many awards nationally and internationally for many of the, um, the degrees, the diplomas and the foundation diplomas that we offer here. And for you to be here, it means that we believe that you are going to be as good as we know that we are. So I want to say to you as your Chancellor, be bold and be brave. This is the beginning. It is not the end. And from now on, you will have to push yourselves and continue to do everything you can to continue to improve yourselves and to make a difference. Don't just be good. Don't just be brilliant. Be exceptional. Edge Hill University was founded over 125 years ago as the first non-denominational teacher training college for women. So it was the first time that women in this country could be trained to be teachers without it being controlled by the church. It was a massive revolution in education, particularly in the education for women. And in fact, my robes and the robes of my colleagues here, the colours that you see, the purple, the gold and the green, these are the colours of the suffragettes. And the suffragettes were brave women who wanted to make a difference and make a real radical difference to society and to change society in a positive way. And that's what we continue to try and do here at Edge Hill. We offer education that is inclusive and that is, that is exceptional and we are widely recognised for that. In the past five years, for example, three times we've been nominated for the University of the Year Award and as you heard earlier from my Poe Chancellor, we are second in the country for um, employment post-graduation for our graduates. We're a really good place, guys, and you are now part of us and you leave us with our stamp on you. So you glitter like we do. And if you ever for one minute have a moment of doubt and think, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? And lose your way, come back to us and we will remind you. Come back and see me. I am your Chancellor. And I will help you remember why you felt it was important to do what you've done to get you here today. And before I finish, I'd just like to ask you to acknowledge the staff here the staff, the dean of the faculty, and all the staff who have worked so very hard to support you to be so brilliant. So if I could ask the dean and the staff to stand up, please, and for you all to show your appreciation for what they've done. Thank you very much. Okay, so our motto is in scientia opportunitas, which means in knowledge there is opportunity, there is possibility. You have the knowledge, now grab the opportunity, and remember, you will always be part of us. I'm your Chancellor, I'm very proud of you. I shook each of your hands, I shall remember you always, and if you ever need me or any of us here, come back to us. You're the last lot of graduates that we're graduating this year, and I can tell you we're absolutely knackered. <laughs> but we managed to hold it together for you because you're just as important as the first lot we graduated. Have a fantastic evening. Enjoy the hospitality we've laid on for you. And thank you to you all for supporting them to do so well and to make us look so good. Thank you. Fifteen ceremonies. 
3,292 graduates, almost 15,000 guests, 25,000 glasses of wine, <laughs> and over 110,000 items of food. 500 of the university staff, 40 ushers, four people blowing their own trumpet, <laughs> 15 songs, I counted 14 dresses, but only one Lucy McHale, a brilliant musical director, a tremendous young ceremonies team, and of course, just one chancellor. Thank you for helping to make this week special. Enjoy today. The video will be on the web tomorrow. The food, there's still some wine and some sandwiches left, is in the hub. And enjoy particularly the years that are in front of all of you. Our best wishes go with you. On behalf of Edgehill University and my friends and colleagues, I declare this congregation closed.